A couple weeks ago, I went to a cabin and brought three travel accessories with me for my MacBook. And only one of these turned out to be useful. Portable display for MacBook. <sighs> um, there's so many parts here. This part alone weighs almost as much as a MacBook. Then there's this metal piece. And this part is also heavy. I'm guessing it goes like this. It's a screen protector and it's magnetized, so it just sits on top of that. All right, this is the most complicated screen that I've ever had to in install. This goes on top of the MacBook like this, and it just fits onto the lid. And then this opens up with the MacBook lid. And this thing kind of just flips around. Yeah, okay, I see it. It's holding on. I don't know how it's gonna last. The lid is staying open, which is good. And that's on the account of the actual stand. So if you want to open this further than what it is right now, 100 degrees, if you want it to go more than 100 degrees, you're gonna start tilting the MacBook, which could be good or bad, I don't know. Looks okay. We need to increase the resolution here. Refresh rate only goes up to 60 Hertz. And I need to increase the brightness. There's nothing here that allows me to do that. I don't know where they got these instructions. The setting screen that in the instructions is it doesn't match at all what's on the screen. It's gotta be a way to adjust the brightness. This monitor uh, is extremely difficult to put together. I don't know what all these are. Pieces of metal here. There's like pieces of rubber here. There's this thing. Okay, I know what this is. Wait a minute, what is this? So this is to give you an extra cable. That's good, but what is this? And what is this, a guitar pick? This is the most complicated monitor I've ever had to use, and I've tested a bunch of portable monitors. While the concept of this portable MacBook monitor is cool, the overly complex setup and bulk make it impractical for actual mobile use. Let's move on to our next product. The Future Creative Power Cable. Made for iPhone, iPad, and iPod. Okay, it's a very nice box. I'm really impressed with the packaging. Got a freaking rocket on it, I love that. Some kind of rubber shoe. I guess it's a case. That's a weird case, but that's maybe the future of cases. A little tiny little cable. That's really cute. It's like a six inch USB-C to USB-C cable. Does it support charging? Does it support data transfer? Oh, on the back it says this cable supports 240 watts max power. Whoa. <laughs> That's pretty good then. This cable is about convenience and travel. So you can hook up different things to it. You can have it sit next to you on the couch. And once you're all done, you just package up all the cables into the future box. I've never seen a cable like this. This is probably three feet here. This is USB-C. And on the other side is a female plug and you can screw in this side like that to have them together. Now you've got a male to male. So you have both female to male and male to male options. This right here will hold really well. It says five kilograms. Don't pull too hard. An extra threaded piece. And then we've got a longer cable. This one is coiled so it can stretch out to multiple different distances. And does it come back to its shape? Sort of. Stretch this out, make it long. It's probably five or six feet. All together, it comes to eight and a half feet, 2.6 meters, if you combine all these things together. Yeah, this one is six feet or 1.8 meters. And that's this one together with a short six inch extension. So basically you make combinations of cables. It seems like an extra layer of complication that I don't really want. This cable kit, while neatly packaged with some unique combinations, doesn't seem much more useful than just having a few standard cables on hand. It could make a fun gift for a techie though. Finally, let's take a look at a laptop light bar from BenQ. So I've reviewed BenQ's Stream Bar Halo, and you all love that video, by the way. This one is a screen bar for laptops. My second favorite knife. My first one is in my office. Instructions. If you need a long set of instructions for any of these kinds of accessories, in my book, that's already a no-go. You need to first clean your laptop lid and then stick something on there. I'm not sticking anything on the lid of my laptop. This is packaged quite nicely. 
It's too low. Battery. Interesting. Capacity is 2,550 milliamp hours. So you can charge this thing and have this work for you on the go. Nice. I wonder if there's a charge in here. Let's plug this up. There's a little connector right there. And you stick them together. Oh! It's on. So I like BenQ, very high quality things. I've been impressed by their screens, by their other screen bars. All right, let's see how this is gonna work. I'm guessing this is supposed to hang over my laptop, right? Probably not gonna do it unless I have one of those sticky things on my lid and I'm not doing that. I might just need the instruction manual. There is a magnet in here and they give you a dark piece of metal and a lighter piece of metal. It sticks pretty well to this thing. That's a strong magnet. Suffice to say that if I stick that thing on here and put the light bar battery here, it's going to stay put. So there's two modes of using this. One is collapsed and that's just this. It's gonna be about an inch or a few centimeters, maybe two and a half centimeters above your screen. The other way to use this is the expanded way and that's the way I did it initially, like this. You flip it around, you magnetize it and now you have all this range of motion for your laptop bar. This battery cover is made of nice soft plastic so it won't scratch your screen. There's some parts that feel metallic like the inside here. It feels really solidly built and it can probably be used just by itself. Let's say I'm over here and I want to write a note in the dark. I said in the dark. Yeah, yeah, I can see this working out quite nicely. I wonder if this would make a nice little reading light too. I would just need a new method of attachment. Overall, the portable monitor seemed overcomplicated. Unlike some of the other ones I've reviewed on the channel before, I linked to some of those down below. One of them is my favorite. The cable kit was more of a novelty, which has its uses, but the BenQ light bar looks like it could be a handy laptop accessory if you don't mind attaching the magnet. So in the end, I guess I'm kind of hard to please with my devices. What do you think? Would you get any of these things? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.